Today, we're diving into the world of underfloor heating, a modern and efficient way to keep your home cozy and warm. Whether you're building a new home or updating an existing space, underfloor heating is a great alternative to traditional heating systems such as radiators. Let's explore what it is, how it works, and which type might be best for your needs. Underfloor heating is exactly what it sounds like, a heating system that's installed beneath the floor surface. It generates heat that rises upwards, warming the room evenly from the ground up. This method creates a comfortable and consistent temperature throughout the space. There are two main types of underfloor heating systems, electric underfloor heating and wet underfloor heating. Let's break down exactly how each of those works. Electric underfloor heating involves installing electric heating cables or mats directly under the floor. When electricity passes through these cable or mats, they heat up and warm the floor above. This type of system is often used in smaller areas or as a supplementary heating source in specific rooms like bathrooms or kitchens. On the other hand, water underfloor heating, also known as wet underfloor heating, uses pipes installed beneath the floor. Warm water is circulated through these pipes, heating the floor and the room above. This system is typically connected to a central boiler or an air source heat pump. Water underfloor heating is highly energy efficient and is commonly used for whole house heating. So which type of underfloor heating is best for you? Well, that depends on your specific needs and project type. Let's take a closer look at the various options available within each system. Electric underfloor heating systems come in several forms. You have underfloor heating mats, which are great for easy rollout in regular shaped rooms. Underfloor heating cables, which are ideal for awkward or irregular shaped spaces. You have foil mats, which are specifically designed for use under woods, carpets and vinyls and you have in-screed systems which are covered in a cement screed and perfect for tiled floors. Wet underfloor heating also offers various different systems to suit different needs. You've got standard output systems which are perfect for well insulated spaces like living rooms or kitchens, high output for areas that may have a higher heat loss such as conservatories, multi-room systems which allow you to control different zones at different temperatures, and low profile systems which are ideal for installations when floor height is restricted. Each type of system has its unique advantages. Let's start with the benefits of electric underfloor heating. Electric underfloor heating is easy to install. It's more affordable for smaller areas such as kitchens and bathrooms. It's ideal for retrofitting into existing rooms with minimal disruption and it raises the floor height by as little as three millimeters. You can also choose the wattage output for different heating scenarios. Now let's talk about the benefits of wet underfloor heating. Wet underfloor heating is generally cheaper to run compared to electric underfloor heating. It's more cost effective for new builds and full refurbishments. It's compatible with air source heat pumps with low energy consumption. It can be controlled remotely via PC, iPad or phone, and it's perfect for larger areas or multiple rooms. Underfloor heating is a fantastic way to keep your home warm and comfortable with options to suit every project and budget. If you're considering it for your next home improvement or build, take some time to explore which system will work best for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more home heating tips and advice.